quick review how to graph y equals a sine of x by hand quickly. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need paper and straight edge. We suggest you create grids similar to the ones at the right as needed. And of course, press pause as needed any time during the video. So let's graph y equals the sine of x, one period. Since you've already learned the shape of the sine curve or sine wave, we only need to plot the points of interest which come from the axes. Here's the axis family. So the sine of zero is zero, so the ordered pair will plot as zero, zero. The sine of pi over two is one, the second coordinate of that point is one, so pi over two comma one. Sine of pi is zero, pi is zero. The sine of three pi over two is negative one, so over three pi over two, down one. And the sine of two pi is back to zero. We'll connect the points, concave down or frown, concave up or smile. Press pause as needed. We'll review some terminology. First of all, there is one maximum point in a period of sine function at pi over two, zero. Minimum point at three pi over two, negative one. And there are three points of inflection where the curve changes concavity from concave up to concave down and concave down to concave up. And the period is two pi. It takes one, takes two pi to go through one wave. Pause is needed. We're going to graph two periods. We'll plot the points of interest. We start at a point of inflection at the origin. A period later is another point of inflection. And halfway between those two is another point of inflection on the sine wave. Halfway between the first two points of inflection is a maximum point. Halfway between the next two points of inflection is a minimum point. And that's one period. So from negative two pi to zero, we're gonna repeat that same thing. So we'll start at negative two pi zero, it starts at a point of inflection, then it goes to a max, then to a point of inflection, to a min, and then the origin, of course, back to a point of inflection. We're going to connect the points with concave down, concave up, and so on. So concave down, concave up, concave down, concave up. Since the domain of the sine function is all real numbers, the graph of the sine keeps waving. Let's look at the graph of y equals sine of x from negative 4 pi to 4 pi. Notice this is not drawn to scale. So we'll plot one period, one wave from zero to two pi. We'll duplicate that one period to the right. This time we'll duplicate going in the negative direction, that same wave, and then one more time. This is the end of the video.